Hey everyone, this is Scott from Max Express, and today we're going to try to replicate this by the category over here. To do this, please go back to your backend. I'm just going to add a custom link over here. Call it category. Add to menu. Then I'll go to my WooCommerce product categories and I'm going to add everything down below. So add to menu. So I have all my product categories here. I'm going to just arrange the hierarchy over here. And I'm going to click on save menu. So once I've done this, <coughs> I'll go to my parent menu, assign it as a mega menu, and you can see that I have my two categories over here. Uh, so, so the slider used over here is our WP1 slider. I've already configured this slider. So to add the WP1 slider, it's gonna go here. Yeah, I have my slider. I also have a WooCommerce tag basis. So yeah, I'm gonna add this as well. So to make the layout, I'm just gonna use six columns, and I'm just gonna expand it to two column. This also two column, and this will take my two column. And this product tag will take a full span. So, okay, I need to configure this slider. Uh, products. I'm just gonna name it products. And I have already created a demo slider here. I'm gonna save it. Okay, for product tags. Okay, I'm just gonna save it. I'm gonna close it and let's check our demo. So I have put a category with my products and my slider and the product tag as well. You can populate it as you like. So the next thing we have are these new labels. So to add this, go to your backend. So let's say I want to level over the hoodies. So I'm just going to click on it. Go to go to your menu level and I'm just going to add it. Hot. I'm going to save the changes. Close it and check in my front end. So here we have our menu level. Thank you.